Cardinals that trade for J.A. Happ from the Minnesota Twins. For left-handed pitcher Evan Sisk and cash considerations. So right here, they get two veteran lefties as the Cardinals. And John Lester from obviously the Washington Nationals. And now J.A. Happ from the Minnesota Twins. So right here, it's puzzling with moves for the Cardinals. The Cardinals, they're six and a half games out of the wild card. And then deep down in the division as well. So right now, these aren't really win-now moves. These are just veterans to add to the back end of the rotation or as a long man to the bullpen. And J.A. Happ, it's been a horrible season for him on the year. 98 and a third, 5 and 6 record, 125 hits, 74 and runs, 21 home is given up already, 31 walks, 77 strikeouts, a 6.77 ERA, and a 1.59 whip with four quality starts in the last couple weeks here for Happ. 16 innings. 0-2 record, 28 hits, 20 earned runs, 4 homers, 6 walks, 10 Ks, 11.25 ERA, and a 2.13 whip. So right here, I was surprised the Twins even got anything in a deal here. Instead of a play to be named or just cash for J.A. Happ, it's been a horrible season. And this could be the end of the road for J.A. Happ right now. So out of the two guys they got in trades out of Lester and him, I think John Lester has a better opportunity to have success than J.A. Happ. I just think Happ's got too many miles on his arm and the soft tossing after a while, it just don't work out anymore in the major leagues, except if you're Jamie Moyer or R.A. Dickey, who were the exceptions at an older age in their 40s. But right here, J.A. Happ lands with another team and he's probably been on 10 plus teams in his major league career, but he obviously he's not gonna have any fantasy value in my opinion. But, hey, could he turn it around? Possibly, but I just don't see it. So the St. Louis Cardinals acquire J.A. Happ, and we'll see if he has an impact. But I highly doubt it for the final two months of the season.